What's up guys, we're back for another BCV range test here in the BCV range test series and today we're going to be doing the Futaba protocol. Now as you guys can see this is not the top of the line brand new T18Z, I think that's what it's called, transmitter. Futaba is very expensive, every top notch pilot uses it um, so we're going to see how good it is. The reason why they're so expensive is because of the gimbals. But other than that, we're going to test how good the range is with the B-Siever FR Sky V2. If you guys did not know, that B-Siever FR Sky V2 receiver does inverted and unverted signals. So that's why you can use FR Sky or Futaba. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do it, like how to bind it to your transmitter. Before you try the binding process, you should go ahead and apply power to your Hummingbird first. Double click the bind button on the receiver till you get the blue code. Then you want to go ahead and power cycle, hold the bind button for the police lights, then turn on your Futaba transmitter and boom, there you go, binds automatically. And that is how you bind your FR Sky V2 receiver to your Futaba transmitter. I think that's a pretty cool feature, how you just turn on your transmitter and it binds automatically. You don't have to click a button or hold a button while you turn it on. I... Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Damn airplanes. Well, you guys already know what's going on. Great, the wind is now starting to kick up. Are you serious? Dude, just wind just hate drones for some reason. Like, it happens all the time. As soon as I turn on my drone and put on my goggles, like, it's like literally like dead silent and the wind just starts kicking in. Anyways, you guys already know what's, gonna go, what's going on. I'm gonna stand right here, turn on my Fat Track HDOs, uh, rapid fire module, circle S polarized antennas, and then, uh, if you guys didn't know again, I'm gonna repeat it. From my last video, I'm gonna be using my Immersion RC Power Play, which is right here. That is how I get my DVR. And then, of course, the Futaba transmitter. This is actually the T8J. If you guys didn't know. Okay, so let's get started. I don't know what that black and white flickering is. It has to do something with my Immersion RC power play. Hopefully, I can get to the bottom of it and fix it. Other than that, hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. What the heck? Did you guys see that? The Futaba transmitter was not able to make it around the corner of this building. But the DX9 Spectrum can? Is Futaba worse than Spectrum? I don't know. You guys comment down below. I am shocked. That is insane. Um, if we ever get a hold of, you know, top of the line newest transmitters, then maybe I'll redo this test. But as of right now, I am completely lost for words. Comment down below what transmitter you use, what transmitter you like. And what other videos you guys like to see of course wait till next week until i upload the next range test episode on the range test series don't forget to comment like share and subscribe whatever all right guys peace out